there's still a very real danger that terrorists could get hold of nuclear material and create at least a crude nuclear bomb. Unfortunately, the reality is that if terrorists manage to get hold of highly enriched uranium or plutonium, it is at least plausible that they could make a crude nuclear bomb. What's worse, it turns out there are real cases where highly enriched uranium and plutonium have been stolen. So in light of these real terrorist dangers, I came up with a concept for a very rapid effort, a four-year effort to lock down nuclear weapons and materials all over the world. And that's something that uh, then Senator Obama, when he was campaigning for president, uh, took up as an idea. And he put that forward during the campaign and then again in his Prague speech in 2009. Today I am announcing a new international effort to secure all vulnerable nuclear material around the world within four years. And there he said, in order to kick it off, I'm going to invite leaders from all over the world to a global summit on nuclear security that the United States will host within the next year. So the summits have uh, contributed to removing highly enriched uranium from places all over the world, including getting the highly enriched uranium out of Ukraine before the fighting started. They have contributed to building a stronger consensus internationally that nuclear and radiological terrorism are real threats and we need real action on nuclear security to address them. Uh, and they have helped convince quite a number of countries to beef up their domestic uh, nuclear security arrangements. In particular, at the last summit in 2014, there was an agreement by most of the summit participants uh, that they would uh, follow and implement the objectives of the International Atomic Energy Agency's nuclear security recommendations and accept uh, reviews of their nuclear security performance. There is really a need after this summit, which will probably be the last one, to continue an effective dialogue on nuclear security. At this summit, do they take enough action that they can get us on a path to continuing the improvement in nuclear security and eventually achieving excellence in nuclear security? Or does attention drift away, progress begin to stall, and then erode, and we end up on a much more dangerous path with a much higher risk of nuclear terrorism. We need action at the summit and beyond in order to get on that higher security, lower risk path.